to thitter or not to thitter, whether it is nobler for one to stick with a system that was not beneficial in any kind of way, or thus thou choose the path that is most challenging currently. Welcome back to the Black Ice. I'll be your host today. I'm happy to have you back. Hockey's back. The game's back. It's all fantastic. But here's the problem. Everybody hates the Titter system. Everybody hates it. Twitter changes their name to X, and EA comes out with Titter. <laughs> but I'm going to say this. I do not hate the system. I actually love the system. I love having my hand on the controller, and I love not being penalized for moving in one direction slightly, and they shoot back the other way. I like it that way. But here's the thing. If you've been playing this game for as long as I have, it's challenging. It's very challenging because it's a completely new muscle memory. It's something you have to relearn. And I know you might not like it right now, but I promise you, if you stick with it, it'll be beneficial to you. I've made more saves going right when the player quickly switches left than I ever have in any other games. Now, there are some quirks to it. And there's some things I don't like. Like the one thing I wish they would do away with is automatic post hug because you do get nervous and all that. But otherwise, all the other system is, I like it. I like it a lot. So today we're not going to just talk about how much I like it. But today we're going to teach you guys how to be better at it. Because I think the new system, it's going to be more important for you to get the system right than the build that you use. So far, what I'm seeing is builds aren't really, there's no distinguishing factor between them, except you can use one to do what certain things that you like to do. Other than that, they all seem to be going in the same direction. But the difference is learning the controls. The controls probably will be a, a more focus for this channel this year than it ever has. Because it's not only just using the controls, but how do you anticipate out of them? How do you prepare yourself for it because all of it is different now. So make sure you like, subscribe, all that. Tell all your friends. Join the Discord. Do all of that. Welcome back. So here's the deal. I try not to release videos too early because truly most people don't know anything. You learn things out as you play more games and you build up. But well, because of this is new controls and new tether controls and people like it, hate it, I love it. Um, I figured I'll release little things that'll help you not be bad or help you not hate it so much. Because it's just little tweaks that you might not know or be aware of. Um, so let's go into this one-on-one -on -one here. My guy might still spin because EA doesn't know how to fix these things. But don't pay attention to the spinning and all that. Alright, so I might have to turn this setting off tell you the truth um it's the um what is it um i can't think of what the indicator is the anticipation indicator let's turn that off right and the reason i'm turning it off is i typically turn it off because i don't like the little bars on the screen anyway i don't like it but we want to use the anticipate uh, anticipatory indicator we want to use it but we don't want to have it on screen all right so the first thing is when you move your guy out and he comes back right move him out and he comes back that's what we all know that's what we don't like but when you move him out you see how twitchy he is you see how twitchy he is when you move him out right he's just twitchy and you have to try to straighten him up all the time okay so hold lt my guy's gonna spin because the game is trash right now. Um, hold LT and it'll get rid of the twitch. You won't have the indicator, but you'll get rid of the twitch. You see how calm my guy is sitting? See how calm my guy is sitting? And I'm holding out. There won't be any twitch. Hold LT. That's what the indicator does. And it gives you nice save animations that you otherwise wouldn't. And you can see. My guy's just spinning like he's stupid all the time because, you know, EA, it's in the game. But if you hold LT and you're going out with your tether, it's a lot calmer, it's a lot cool. It's, it's a, look at that reverse spin. All right, so 
that is the first one so turn the indicator off hold lt when you're going i wouldn't advise using the um right stick for anticipation left or right it then acts as the same as the old game so when you're anticipating one thing and they shoot back the other one you'll be screwed so i wouldn't advise using it just hold lt use lt to your advantage just to calm your guy down when you move out a lot smoother you don't have to worry about twitchiness and trying to set your guy up a bunch of times you know what i mean so hold lt um also come out earlier when the guy's coming down the ice and you're about to go out go out really stay out long the point of it is you have to keep your hand on the controller and get used to the movement earlier because you don't want to be stuck trying to figure it out as they're entering so you want to get on the sticks as soon as they get to the center of the ice get on the sticks all right so i decided to get out of that screen because it was going to be a disaster all the the spinning of the goalie it was just bad but the point is your first movement is always hold lt when they're in the zone it's a much smoother movement your guy works really well with it and he's quiet and the save animations are better so hold lt the second thing you must do is learn how to push your controller at a the exact point all the time so in this video you're going to see me just moving back and forth back and forth back and forth that's just me getting used to pushing the controller at the exact spot now i don't use the same controller for skater or other games that i use for goalie because i've always thought that the every time i use it for skater i kind of wear it out and the 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 access points change when you jam it on the controller all the time for goalie it's more precise so i'm always just moving it and pushing it little bits so you have to learn to go from back to forward or those the, the hash marks right there in the crease so you right there you go right there you hold it back let it go hold it that way you're perfectly you're positioning yourself the perfect area to save it but you're creating muscle memory by your thumb knowing that's where i go and the controller is just repetition now the next two things are very important i'm going to switch to a different camera angle in a different game so you can see it's when you set up and where you set up because in this game you will notice that you sometimes get thumb fatigue because you have to move way more than you ever have in the game so what we want to do is as soon as the puck is about to enter center ice we want to move out us right away we want to move out with our hands on the controller so that we're ready for all the movements because you hesitate move sometimes that's not necessary that you don't need but it just comes with not having to i'm not having known or used the system over the years so you want to get as much movement on the controller as you possibly can early but don't do it while they're in the the in the other team zone because then you'll really get tired and complacent with your guy so as soon as they come down in the zone you want to be ready to um to center ice you want to be ready center ice you start moving your guy setting him up now you don't have to play uh the corners or play the shooters at the top of the the uh, the defenders to shoot because they rarely score on you even if you're out of position so you just want to get your thumb on it to get the movement to continue moving around that way you're ready it's getting yourself ready and in position and um when you're moving back and forth moving back and forth it's the same thing same idea you're feeling the controller you're making sure you know the movement And as you can see right here, the puck's in the corner. What you don't want to do is you don't want to overplay it. You can wait. You don't have to do anything. You can sit in the back of the net until they get to the goalie box where you would get a penalty if you go outside of it. You just want to hang out there. They, if they shoot, they shoot fine. You get beat short side when they're close. You don't get beat short side when they're far away. So when they go down in the corner midway through the boards, just still hold your, your same angle 
Don't worry about it. Go back and forth. Move around a little bit. You're just preparing yourself for the next shot. That's really the little keys I can tell you right now early. So it's LT is the most important one because it calms you down. You get better save animation. I don't know if they intended for it to be that way. Don't use right stick for any anticipatory stuff. It kills you. Uh, make sure you get out early on the one that once they get to the center ice you might need a new controller because your controller might not react the same way every time and you want your controller to react the same way every time on every push